Hi, Sarah. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Are we starting now? Great. Yes, Sorry. it's 740. Yeah, we're, we're going to get started. Who would like to be the host and share their screen? I will. Talk. I will do that right now. So you should be able to share your screen. Um, so yeah, we've already got attendees. So I'll let you get started. So just uh, kind of housekeeping. Um, if you do have any questions, please type them in the chat and we'll get to them at the end. Um, but yeah, you guys can get started. Great. Well, hi everyone. I'm Todd St. Brain. I'm the North America manager uh, for the University of Melbourne. Um, I lead uh, two people based in uh, California, so happy to assist you. And I'd like to introduce my colleague Eileen from um, in, in Melbourne. Well, hi everybody. My name is Eileen and I'm the um, Senior Manager for the Student Recruitment in the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences. So, you know, we really like to um, in introduce some of our students, unfortunately, they are not able to be here in person because they're in classes. Like we are about 11.40 in the morning. So it's full on and they are in, in the classes. But what they have done is actually um, made up some selfie videos to show you what life is like as a student in the Doctor of Dental Surgery program, uh, a day in a life of, you know, what kind of motivations they have. And one of them is going to share about the residential college as well. So um, we have Elsh, Kunal, and Sydney. They, they're from uh, the different parts. And so without further ado, we're just going to show you the video and we can have more questions later on. Oh, yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Elsh. I'm a student here at Uni Melb. I'm in the Doctor of Dental Surgery program. And uh, you guys are going to hang out with us today and see what it's like for us dental students. Enjoy about me, I am an international student from Canada, and uh, I speak two languages, English, of course, and Amharic, which is the language of Ethiopia, where I am originally from, country in East Africa, if anybody's familiar. Anybody that's brushing their teeth in the morning today, remember you want to use an electric toothbrush preferentially. If you're using a manual, remember you want to brush in circular motions like this. You don't want to go back and forth. You're going to recede your gums. You're going to have bigger problems in the future. So this is where we have all our classes. We're at the uh, dental hospital. That's why you guys don't really see dental students on campus. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is where we have our pre-clinics. Um, this is where we learn how to do, you know, oral surgeries. And we do it on mannequins before we do it on real people. So you guys are in good hands. Let me take it off my mask. <laughs> okay, so this is what our dental bags look like. Got a bunch of teeth here, a face mask, some hand instruments. This was actually a, a makeup bag that I bought online. I never thought I'd do that. <laughs> so for everybody studying, these little $1 coffees from 7-Eleven, uh, they save your life. Everyone that's considering dentistry, it's a very intense program, but it's very rewarding in terms of a career, uh, very hands-on, the faculty is really good, and the student body is very supportive of one another, uh, so I highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely, positively, 100%, like, hated the dentist growing up. All right. Hi, my name is Kanal Mehta, and I'm in my second year of the Doctor of Dental Surgery program here at Melbourne Dental School. I was one of those kids that hated the taste of toothpaste, so 
I could never get my oral hygiene in check as a child. It just made me hate the dentist. And then now here I am becoming one. Just to give you folks a bit of background as to who I am, uh, I'm actually Indian in my background. Both my parents are from India, but they moved to Canada and uh, specifically Toronto, Ontario. And that's where I was born and that's where I grew up. I'm also a very, very big fan of the late and great Kobe Bryant, whose jersey I have in the background over there. And I'm a Raptors jersey on the other side, just to balance things out. So my road to studying dentistry at Melbourne Dental School started off in my first year of undergrad, specifically in my chemistry class. My prof posed a question to us like the first day of class. He said, how many of you want to go to med school? Almost everyone's hands went up and I looked around and I thought, wow, like what, what, what have I gotten myself into? So it's very, you know, tunnel vision into medical school. So I didn't really give my, myself a chance to look around into the other various health careers. Uh, that are out there that, are, that can offer me the same pleasure that I thought I could get from medical school. Well, I did my research and uh, eventually ended up with dentistry being uh, what I thought was a good fit for me. And here I am. I would say I love dentistry because as much as it is a science, it is also very much an art. So if a patient needs a filling, for example, so if they have a cavity, constructing their restoration and molding it to the correct tooth anatomy also takes some sort of manual dexterity and you know hand-eye coordination and all that stuff um, and even muscle memory so you really need to um, know what you're doing and train your hands to do so i like to think of dentistry like like basketball so if i'm trying to better my shooting form if i'm trying to become a better jump shot shooter in, in basketball then i'm going to be in the gym every day practicing the same form because the ball needs to go into the net the same way. So I'll be in there putting up a thousand, two thousand shots. Um, the same way with dentistry, I'm gonna be training my hands and my eyes to look at these things and to, to feel the material and to really mold it um, to be the best dentist I can be. And all that's gonna do is translate to the best patient interaction that I can possibly achieve. I don't just like my cohort here at MDS, I really love them. Uh, they're some of the coolest, nicest, kindest people that I've ever met, uh, and they really enrich the school experience for me. From a full day of studying in the library for exams, to uh, social events like the, the end of the year ball, and from seminars, lectures, and uh, full clinic days, to road trips and beach adventures, um, these guys are like, I see them 10 to 11 months in the year, they're some of the best people to be around, and I'm really, really proud to not just call them my cohort, but call them my friends. Hi, my name is Sydney. I am a second year Doctor of Dental Surgery student studying at the University of Melbourne. I am originally from Vancouver, Canada. When I first moved to Melbourne, I moved into International House, which is a residential college through the University of Melbourne. At the college, I've had the opportunity to meet a wide range of students that are studying many different programs, anything from creative writing to engineering, in addition to other medical and dental students, as well as a lot of these students are from a variety of different backgrounds and different countries. Through living at IH, it has evoked a really positive environment to making connections with staff members as well as alumni in addition to um, making an environment that's easy to build friendships with your peers and other graduate students. And this is through academic events as well as social events. Um, this experience has been so great that I actually have decided to live at International House for my second year. And I am part of the Graduate Student Association, which helps to plan a lot of the social events. The University of Melbourne's Doctor of Dental Surgery program has also been an amazing experience. This course offers amazing lecture component, lab work, pre-clinic sessions, which includes um, making dentures, as well as working on your drilling and filling abilities, in addition to your clinical sessions where you're actually working with patients. And through the program, it has also encouraged you to really go out there and meet other students, upper years, as well as make connections with your professors and healthcare practitioners in the community. The Medical and Dental Student Association at the University of Melbourne has also allowed our dental program to really have a community where um, students can meet other students through social events. 
uh, such as camp and formals, in addition to really interacting with your professors and healthcare practitioners outside of school. And this is through career nights, as well as information sessions. The University of Melbourne's um, program is also extremely unique as we begin our clinical sessions, so seeing patients as early as March into our second year. In addition to our fourth year mainly being comprised of um, practical experience in um, clinics throughout uh, rural and inner city Melbourne. Okay, great. So that was just a chance to hear from our students. Uh, we've only got a few minutes left, so be sure to head over to the University of Melbourne virtual booth uh, where we can answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so we've heard from this Canadian student perspective about what um, makes Melbourne dentistry special. Um, Eileen, um, what's your take on it? Yeah, hey, um, thanks, Todd. I think um, you know, just you know, chatting with the students, some of the highlights that we have for students, for example, is this ability to not only work at the Royal Dental Hospital in um, on campus, but they also have a specialist clinic on campus where they can actually see specialists and who will become the tutors, um, uh, specialists in training who will become the tutors to also you know work on um, what is it going to be like in future becoming a specialist. There's a lot of hands-on practice and I think a highlight of the program is really in their fourth year where students get to spend 40 weeks in the whole year to actually be rotated around metro areas, regional, private and public settings to actually practice their clinical placement. So I think that's quite rare, you know, in dental schools. So you'll find that the students who come to Melbourne University really benefit from deciding in future, would I like to work in a public setting? Would I like to work in a um, private setting? Or should I work in a metro or in the regional areas? And um, I think another really um, key thing that we have put in place for students is really you know, this peer mentoring program that we have put in place. So what happens is that we will match a senior student in the fourth year with an alarm so that you know if they have got questions about you know working in um, the dental field what is it what are the things that I should be thinking about considering and etc and so this alarm there are, there are people who are already in the field for quite a few years and they'll be really be able to give very good advice for the graduating students so as a form of preparation for them to enter the workforce and I think finally, I just wanted to also highlight the fact that, you know, um, the alum who has come back to Canada, they have done really, really well. And they tell us that, you know, when they sit for the National Dental Board exams, the, the Melbourne curriculum really has prepared them really well for that. Because we have a very strong emphasis on the OSCE style of examination which is uh, very prominent in the National Dental Board exams um, um, setting. So because of all the practice that they have had in our uh, DDS program, they are very well prepared and therefore many of them have done extremely well in these examinations and get to practice in the end in um, Canada. So I think, you know, those are really some of the key Factors besides the fact that we've got a really good program, you know, the, the things that you probably can't find on online to, to know about, but, you know, these are some highlights here for students. Great. Uh, so we did have a question uh, regarding about how to meet the prerequisites. So I've posted a link into the chat uh, that we actually um, have a link to subjects from around the world, including all Canadian universities, of which subjects actually meet our uh, prerequisites. So be sure to check that out. Um, and as we're about to run out of time, come on over to the Unimail booth to answer you know, more questions. Um, and finally, in the video, he mentioned the 7-Eleven coffee. That's okay if you need a quick shot. But I think the other great thing about Melbourne is amazing coffee uh, and a great culture scene uh, with the highest per capita of cafes in the world. Thanks so much, everyone. Yes, and I think, you know, one, one term that you might want to learn every time you come to um, Melbourne or speak to uh, 
uh, Australian is good day, mate. <laughs> you know, that's something that you have to learn. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, yes, Sarah, we're back to you. Great. Thank you guys so much, Aline and Todd, for sharing that. Those uh, student videos were awesome too. Um, yep. Like Todd said, if you do have any more questions, head back to the Career Echo chat rooms. Um, more than happy to answer your questions. But thank you so much for your presentation and enjoy the rest of the fair, everyone. Thank you. I will see you at the um, chat room. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>